Rico, you know Katie Cleary from the CW's America's Next Top Model and other TV shows, but you may not know she's a passionate animal lover, and so is her late husband, Andrew Stern. Tonight, uh, we're talking about Katie Cleary's crusade to help save orangutans in Borneo, where their natural habitat is being decimated, wiped out. Uh, so welcome, Katie Cleary. But first, uh, we want to talk to you about this recent tragedy uh, your family has experienced. Uh, Katie, your beloved husband, Andrew, committed suicide last month. There's been a lot of uh, controversy and speculation about his death, and I know that you want to set the record straight. So, Katie, welcome tonight. What would you like to say about that tragedy? Thank you so much, uh, Jane, for having me on your show. You're just amazing in the work that you do. Um, honestly, uh, this tragedy um, with Andrew has been uh, beyond imaginable. I, I loved him very much. Um, he was my heart and soul, and um, the fact that this happened the way it did is so tragic, and he was a huge animal lover, and I wanted to do something uh, to honor his memory, and so um, me and my, my foundation, Peace for Animals, decided to purchase um, a, a piece of land in Borneo on behalf of him through World Land Trust, and I think that this is the best way to honor him, and something that he had always wanted um, was, you know, to help the rainforest and orangutans. Well, that's a great way to honor someone, especially someone who cares about animals and the environment. Uh, people around the world are devastated because orangutans are being wiped out in their native habitat. And Katie, uh, just to elaborate on what you were just saying, you uh, got this certificate for making a donation to purchase land and protect a parcel of land in the Malaysian Borneo rainforest in your late husband Andrew's name. There's the certificate. The World Land Trust is an amazing organization, and it has a program called Saving Paradise Acre by Acre. And they just raised over a million and a half dollars with the help of folks like mm -hmm. Katie and many others to help uh, save Mornian orangutans. So if you want to get involved, and, and uh, really, this, this makes me sick. I can't sleep at night thinking about what's happening to these animals. Just go to the worldlandtrust.org and get involved, and you can buy a little piece of uh, land that can also help them. And my understanding, Katie, is that the World Land Trust and your organization is, is involved in this as well, uh, wants to create corridors because there's a patch of land here that's a habitat, a patch of land here. But because of all the development, they need corridors so they can go from one wildlife area to the other. Exactly. So what we're trying to do is uh, we're trying to develop the Kerr Corridor. And basically, it's... Um, 90% of orangutans have been wiped off the planet uh, in 100 years, and 90% of uh, rainforests have been destroyed as a result. So we're talking about uncontrolled burning. We're talking about these animals starving to death. They have no homes left as a result, and we need to try to save them um, before it's too late and save our rainforest. And the way we can do that is um, if someone does pass, and in their memory, um, the best way you know, uh, to honor them, I believe, is purchasing a part, part of this rainforest. And it's not just Borneo. It's, it's the Amazon. Um, you know, 40,000 orangutans are, um, are left, and that is it in Borneo. And it's just devastating, the fact that humans are part of this destruction, and it, it needs to stop. And, and there's many ways that we can do that. Um, basically, you just don't purchase any products containing palm oil. At least 50% of all products in grocery stores contain palm oil. It's the cheapest oil that you can buy. So a lot of these companies and snack food companies uh, use palm oil as a filler. And so if people knew that and looked on the back of products and, and really cared, they wouldn't purchase products containing palm oil and they would alert their grocery stores like Trader Joe's, Whole Foods and Ralph's are just a couple of the grocery stores we're going after to get them to stop selling palm oil. Well, listen, I, I learned about this and I actually changed my eating habits as a result of it and began eating much less processed food in general because uh, mm -hmm. there are so many products that contain palm oil that are sold not just in the places you mentioned, but all over the place, everywhere you go, yes. every time you pick up a product. So I've actually, in a way, and I palm think oil. this other people can benefit too, is that I, I've, I feel like I'm healthier now. I'm eating fewer processed foods. I'm eating more just basic, like kale and avocado. Mm -hmm. When I look at a vegetable, I know it, it doesn't have a uh, palmitate or any of these other ingredients in it because it's just a vegetable or a fruit. So... I think that Absolutely. we can wake people up to the fact that look at this logging and do we really want the only orangutans on the planet to be in cages? Look at these animals in cages. That's no life for them. They need their habitat, their natural habitat. Absolutely. Katie? It's jail. It's jail. I mean, um, having these animals in zoos and captivity 
it, it, it doesn't make sense and it needs to end. And um, the fact that, you know, a, a size, um, a, a parcel of land the size of Greece is completely destroyed each year. That, that is just, to me, um, three, 300 football fields um, of land is basically cleared every hour. And, and that's, it's criminal, and it needs to end. And, and another way we can end it is um, buy recycled paper products in the store. So a lot of, um, well, actually a high percentage of paper comes from the rainforest, and it's mixed with um, a lot of the trees here in the States. So a lot of people don't know that. So buying recycled paper products is um, a huge help to saving the rainforest as well. Well, you know, it's funny because you could save a lot of money. I just stopped buying paper towels completely. And guess what I yeah. use? What, what our grandparents used to use? Cloths. Paper towels didn't always exist. What do people do before paper towels? They use cloths. That's what I use. Exactly. It saves yeah, me so do I. A, a couple of thousand dollars every year. And yeah. I, I'm not contributing to the destruction of this earth. And then for paper that, you know, you have to have, like toilet paper, use 100% recycled toilet paper, which is what I use. Uh, we're going to take a short break. Exactly. People, if you want to get involved, we're going to tell you precisely on the other side of the break how you can help save these orangutans. And these are our cousins. Little Rico, I love you, but you're not a cousin. You're my son. <laughs> we're going to talk about cousins on the other side. You know Katie Cleary from shows like America's Next Top Model and a whole variety of TV shows, but you may not know she's a passionate animal lover who uh, founded Peace for Animals and World Animal News and is now fighting to save the orangutans that are being decimated uh, for palm oil production. Now, here's the tricky part. Palm oil is often described, disguised in the ingredients list. It can be labeled under 30 different names, including vegetable oil, acetyl palmitate, palmate, sodium laureth sulfate and many many more uh different ingredients we reached out to the malaysian government we haven't heard back but there's another thing we can do we can send a message and we don't want to talk about particular companies but we could send a message message to all companies to do this sustainably if they have to use palm right, yeah. oil to do it sustainably katie Absolutely, and that's that's the one way we can uh, be able to save our world. Um, as you know, 20% of our oxygen comes from the rainforest, the rest from the ocean. Um, so this is crucial for our survival, um, not just our survival, but the rest of the 8.7 million species which we share this planet with. Um, so this has been my passion ever since I was a very young girl, and I will continue to fight for not only orangutans, but tigers and uh, elephants and rhinos, of which um, are being completely um, wiped off the planet because of poaching, as you know, Jane. Um, so I, I, I thank I you so much for all the work we're that out you of do time, as well. And I want to thank you, Katie Cleary. And um, I think this kind of work is a great way to memorialize your late husband. And I'm sorry for thank your you. loss. And I'm, I'm so glad that you're helping the animals. Right, Rico? Nancy's next. Thank you, Jane. You're an angel.